tonight about the Silicon Valley organization for putting out racist attack ads. Now, five members of San Jose City Council saying it's not the first time the SVO has used these tactics. KPIX 5's Len Ramirez with a story. Well, city council members say the Silicon Valley organization's previously racially tinged ads went largely unnoticed by the public, but in the context of what just happened, indicate an organization with deep problems. It's a culture of racism. Council member Sylvia Arenas said it happened to her earlier this year. Absolutely. That was done for a political motive. The mailer purposely darkened her complexion. Council member Sergio Jimenez says he was darkened and made out to be a criminal in this attack ad from 2016. I believe it was sent with a clear message. Brown person. Crime. Bad. Both mailers were funded and produced by the Silicon Valley Organization's Political Action Committee, the same PAC which put out this ad this week, which many are calling blatantly racist and which led to the resignation of CEO Matt Mahood. The well is poisoned and many have been drinking from it for years. Yesterday, dozens of Silicon Valley nonprofits and charities canceled their SVO memberships. Today, council members called on member businesses and corporations to do the same. Those companies should take a look about what their participation in the SVO does, what it means, and what their money is really being used for. The SVO issued a statement saying, quote, the SVO does not condone racist campaign practices from the PAC or anyone else in our community. Racist will not be tolerated in any form at SVO or from its member companies. But LULAC's Serena Alvarez says what happened with the SVO is just a symptom. SVO is just one piece of a system. The people who have the money to flood these elections are maintaining that system with disinformation and, and racism. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.